So this oolong has been around at David's Tea for quite some time. Um, I have been really eager to do a review on it. I have had this oolong tea before. So today we're gonna be doing David's Tea's Guanzu Milk Oolong. So this oolong, I don't even know when it first originally came out. It is available now for $12.98 per 50 grams, which honestly isn't bad. It's not a bad price if you really think of how good this oolong is. Traditionally, oolongs, uh, oolongs, white teas, sometimes matchas tend to go on the more expensive side when it comes to pricing at David's Tea. This one's not bad. So $12.98 isn't the worst. If you're really that concerned, you can use your rewards for it. But I just have a little tin here that I got from a fellow member. We kind of did like a whole kind of mug for tea trade because I was like, I, I couldn't sell it. And I was like, I might as well just get some tea that I love. So she um, she was able to trade some tea for the mug that I traded her. So it says, this rare oolong tea from China's Wuyi Mountains is velvety smooth and creamy. With a subtle hint of orchid, it said that it came about when the moon fell in love with the comet. The comet passed her by as comets do. The moon cried milky tears, which chilled at the tea fields, withering the leaves and giving them del del delicate creaminess. This milky oolong tea has been a rare luxury ever since. The ingredients are Chinese oolong tea from the Fujian province and natural and artificial milk flavoring. So oolong tea can either be a hit or miss with some people. Some people love it, some people hate it. Me personally, oolong is one of my personal favorite types of tea. Um, oolong's one of my favorites. I love greens and matchas and rooibos. Not too keen on whites, not too keen on blacks. Um, those teas are kind of just boring to me. I find that oolong is probably the most unique and special out of all of the tea blends that there are in this world. And I find that it's very underrated. So. Oolong tea is extremely, how do I put it this way? It's it's not sensitive to timing and temperature of the tea. It is sensitive, but it's not as sensitive as green teas, white teas. So this, you do have to be very delicate and careful when brewing it in order for the taste to come out. So I brewed mine at an oolong temperature, 190 degrees for four minutes. Usually with oolongs, I do have a bunch of traditional oolongs upstairs from Taiwan. I usually stick to the four minute mark with oolongs. I don't go any less than four and I don't go any more than four. Um, if you do steep an oolong for a long time, it will turn extremely bitter. Another thing I also don't do that some people do is re-steeping oolong. So the oolong leaves have the tendency to lose flavor over every steep. And me personally, I, I find, I don't know, I find it messy to try to re-steep a tea, uh, I, I just I just don't do it. I do one-time steeps and that's it with any tea that I make. So I do know that people like to re-steep oolongs, which is awesome for you, but I'd like to enjoy my favorite type of tea the way that I want to and at its fullest potential. So I don't re-steep oolongs. Um, some, like, when it comes to flavored oolongs from David's Tea, such as coconut cream pie, citron oolong, coconut oolong, um, I do look at the steeps to recommended time. For example, coconuts, um, coconut cream pie is a time of six minutes to steep, which is the most that anyone should ever steep that tea. Um, so if you guys don't know any steep times for oolongs, if it is a traditional oolong, please stick to only four minutes. If it is a flavored oolong, look up it, look it up online um, and they'll tell you the time. So sorry for that rant. I just thought I would just go off and on about oolong teas. I could go on about oolong teas all day. But anyways, we are doing Guanzu Milk Oolong. So I have it in this nice tin, which I don't know why I closed because I need to smell the tea. So smelling. It's creamy. It's You do smell the milk. It's It's more of like a cream rather than a milk. But it is very, this is such a beautiful tea, a gorgeous tea. I love, love, love this tea. No, oh, you can kind of see it there. That's actually kind of cool. Anyways, so I have it there and it's creamy. You do smell the oolong, of course. This one is more of a greener oolong. It's not as oxidized as other oolongs, um, which is also nice because I know some people don't like oxidized oolongs. So I'm going to give it a try. So the oolong, I did add honey to this because it is a traditional oolong. And with my traditional teas, I always add honey. Mm. 
So my preferred way of making this is as an iced latte. The reason I did not make this as a latte today is because I already have one going upstairs. I just did a review on. It's a Hawaiian Punch Matcha by David's Tea. Um, so I kind of like to stick just calorie wise and, you know, nutrition, not ha having too much milk may not be good for you. So I try to stick to one ice matcha a day or I one ice latte a day, mind you. So I just made it plain and straight. So you taste the oolong and you taste the, the milkiness and the creaminess comes out in the back ends. Um, you also taste kind of like that warm, smooth, velvety texture that you get with oolongs. And since this isn't an oxidized oolong, it's very creamy it's not like earthy or, or groundy or like musky like other um like uh, the oxidized oolongs are so i find this would have been ruined if it wasn't oxidized oolong when they put this with the tea so great that it's a greener oolong um it is creamy sweet well it's not really sweet it's more creamy than anything and it's just great with honey it's amazing it's such a nice creamy oolong so would I repurchase this tea? Yes. Would I stock up? If this was selling out or they were taking it away and it was on sale, I would stock up. Uh, rating out of 10, I like this oolong a lot. This is a very good oolong. It's a 8.5 out of 10. This is one of the best oolongs that I've had from David's Tea and that I've had in general. So that was my review on David's Tea's Guanzu Milk Oolong. Let me know what you guys think of this tea in the comments. And thank you so much for watching.